Today, I'm going to be building this amazing custom Lego Mo set from The Simpsons. Some of you may know that I am a lifelong Simpsons fan, and after building the Simpsons house and the Quickie Mart, I just had to add this to my collection when I saw it. When I saw this build from Ben Builds Lego, I just knew I had to have it. I mean, the design is top notch. It looks great. The detail is great. I mean, it, it looked like a perfect set. That's what I'm checking out today. Whether it is a perfect build and if you should put it in your Lego City or your Springfield or any Simpsons collections. However, that's not the only thing we're reviewing today. About 97% of the bricks that we'll be building with today are from Rebricks. Look at this massive bag. Wow, so that's a lot. You might have heard of them before, but what they do is they strive on creating alternative Lego bricks that are cheaper alternatives and are perfect for bulk buying and being able to make mocks like this. As looking at alternative bricks is something this channel strives on, I thought it would be really great to combine these two different things to make one ultimate review of Webricks and Rebrickable and this particular mock. I also saw some bricks that were missing from the Webrick website on Bricklink from individual sellers. So the total cost of the build today cost me just over a hundred pounds. Um, this whole build, this, um, this big bag was 83 pounds for all the bricks, which was 97% of the order. There was 10 pounds shipping. And then the 3% that were missing, I had to get from Bricklink. And after, well, originally that was going to add another 50 pounds to the purchase, but after condensing into, um, stores and having some compromise with some pieces, I managed to get the best possible price. So that's how I got to such a low price point for this hopefully great modular that you've already seen. So I have a daunting task ahead of me, but we're gonna get straight into this. And we're gonna sort it using my new Lego desk or my drawers here. And what better way than to just start right now? Actually, there's one more thing I need to change just before I start building. So, I went out and got a special Mo shirt just for this video. Um, don't say I don't have dedication. I thought this would inspire me to help build this and get me in the most spirit. I think I might also need one more finishing touch. I've even got the real Duff Bay can. I mean, that's not dedication. I don't know what is. But let's just get right into sorting this. It might take a while. Okay, so the sorting is now done. I've managed to uh, individually go through every single piece, whether that be up here or in my drawer, into clear categories for myself to build. So, now that's all cleared up, I suppose I can get straight into the build. Okay, so I started construction, but some of you might know I'm a big perfectionist. Now this base plate has bend. I talked about this a lot in one of my former videos on about the uh, fire station modular and how important this was to me. So it has a lot of bend and I feel like once the final product is going to be done, it's going to be ruined. I had a, I've got the Grand Emporium fake Lego set and the corner is still to this day bent up and it irritates me so much. So I have an other alternative fake base plate. It's a different colour, but I've looked through the instructions and the colour isn't shown at all. So I think I can get away with this change. And this one is a lot more flat. Um, you can't see it right now because it's on top of the other one. But... I think that's the way we're going to move forward. Okay, so there's no easy way to put this, but 
that other fake base plate wasn't great either and i just want to show you a good build so we know the base plates probably are worth looking at alternatives that you know are probably sturdy but what i've done for this video is i've gone out and just bought a normal regular lego base plate it's actually my first ever normal lego base plate which is kind of weird it is green because they didn't have the gray color that i was looking for but i don't think that will matter anyway um but yeah so we're going to restart construction on this new base plate Okay, so the build is done. Um, I thought I'd come into the kitchen again just to uh, show the final product off. Got the Homer Simpson hoodie on, appropriate clothing, you know me. So, I mean, wow, look at this. It looks great. Ben builds Lego, all credit to him here because he's the one who's done an absolutely fantastic job on this. Um, it just looks great. As a modular, it looks great. But as a Simpsons tribute almost and something to put in a Springfield, it looks really good. Um, I'm really happy with it. I'm just letting the whole view get shown here. But yeah, I mean, really enjoyable build process. It was good. My review now, Rebricks, um, wasn't the best. There was a few missing pieces, um, which is concerning. I'm not sure how that happened. Some pieces also still had um, plastic molding still attached that I needed to clip off. Um, but apart from that, it was really good. It was a great cheaper alternative for bricks. Just some of them were missing, which created a problem. Um, on the door, I don't know if you can see this clearly, but I've had to use a purple handle instead of what was meant to be a gold handle. Um, and I know some of the pieces you have to get externally, but that's why I thought if they didn't have those things that they were going to send, they'd tell you to get it externally and put that in the list. Because basically what how we do Rebrick is you submit the mock that you're making from Rebrickable to Webricks, and then they basically tell you every part they have. And then all the parts they don't have, they make that in a list for you so you can go off and buy that by yourself so you can complete the mock. Um, so I was confused how there even was missing pieces, but strangely, I did have a few spare pieces, um, in the build, which doesn't really make any sense. Uh, I, d I wouldn't think that Ben builds brick has put in extra bricks. So I'm not really sure what happened there. Probably was on rebricks, to be honest, I would assume, but I'm not sure. But anyway, let's take a look on the inside of this build. So the inside of this build is, I mean, phenomenal, to be honest. That's actually, you can have the availability to make that into a Duff Beer sign, but that meant external part printing, which wasn't in the budget right now. But I mean, the detail on this, obviously, got the flaming mose here with the TV. Um, this all looks great. Um, uh, it's really impressive. We have a, the crowbar here. All through the instruction Ben Bill's Lego did, he had little quotes from the show and it just made for a really enjoyable build. The attention to the detail was great and I was really happy with this. Um, I The inside really holds up. Some of these flags are different colors than you meant to have because I couldn't find the pieces anywhere. Um, but only like one of them. And yeah, honestly, gorgeous set. I'm over the moon with it. The detail, there's one thing I wanna do. Well, there's a few things I want to do, so let's just get into my idea. So this is the two other Simpson sets, and I've just lined them up here so you can see like how it looks compared to the officially licensed sets. Um, I will admit this has seen better days. The stickers need replacing, and it is a bit dirty, but that will be done in due time for when the city is actually constructed. But yeah, I just wanted to show, I mean, what it looks like compared and like how a street would look, even though you wouldn't probably have these in a the street together. 
and it definitely holds up. Um, I, I mean, it really does look like properly involved in the world. The only thing is, probably having it next to the house, it'd probably be about the same height. No, well, the house would be a bit taller, but I think those would just be getting there. Um, but apart from that, I mean, the amount of details in this, it needs to be high and to be in an actual city because this is more thinking about city building rather than Springfield building. But I did think this would be important to show anyway to see how it would look um, properly with the other Springfield sets. So the last thing I thought I'd do is just add some life to the set to practice from when I'm at Lego Cities here. And I need to add that storytelling. So we've got Chief Wiggum here. He's looking for a... Uh, the next criminal on the loose, we've got Grand Keeper Willy and uh, Christy the Clown ready to go into Moe's. And up here we have Barton Millhouse ready to take down any crime that's going to enter Moe's. And let's just have a quick look inside. Okay, and now we've got our finishing touches on the inside. We've got Snake in here uh, hiding from Wiggum. And Patty and Selma sat at the table and bringing drinks back. Of course, we've got Homer at the bar. Where he often finds himself. Unfortunately, we never got a Moe's minifigure. However, I have found this fake Moe's, like custom printed one, which I am thinking about getting just to add to the set because I think it'd be a nice addition. But I'm not sure how I feel about that. We'll see. But yeah, I really like this. Okay, so that was my review on this really great set from Ben Bill's Lego. Bembo's Lego is definitely ballistic bricks approved. Um, we bricks, I'd say be cautious. I've seen really good reviews elsewhere. Um, so maybe it was just a mishap for me. But yeah, I didn't have too many problems. It was just a few minor ones. I think in total I had about four blocks missing. But for some reason I did have about 10 extra blocks of things I didn't actually need. So make of that what you will. That was a bit weird. But overall, I'm happy. This is definitely going to look great in the city. It's all Ballistic Bricks approved. I'm happy. It's one of my favorite modulars I've ever built. And let me know. Do you want to see more Simpsons sets? Um, I know a lot of people do. I know the Krusty Krab submission is going around um, the Lego Ideas page for a while. So let me know. Do you want sets like this to be continued? Do you like mocks like this? Um, there's a few more that I could think about building. I know the church is on there. Um, there's potentially a school coming out soon. So, I mean, let me know and I'll definitely think about it in the future. So thanks so much for watching. This has been a great build and see you in the next one.